All right, everybody, welcome back to Everyday Whiskey. I'm Mike. And I'm Dan. And this week, we're kind of transitioning into fall a little bit early. Um, I know it's still the end of August. By the time you're watching this, it should be September. But we have a pretty unique offering that was given to us by a friend, and we thought we'd make a fun episode. So, big shout out to uh, Gris uh, Grismundo Barbecue, aka our good friend Tim Gris. Uh, he supplied us with every single bourbon slash whiskey we were about to drink and all of these are maple syrup cast finished yes so this is going to be really fun for everybody who's a fan of widow jane decadence yes that, that's one of these that is here yep so what, what we've done this week to make this completely biased and like, unbiased un uh, yeah <laughs> completely biased completely unbiased uh we made this completely random yes so my wife sam back there uh she has the master key for what's in each one of these glasses so there is a correlating number on mm -hmm. each bottle that's by our feet to what's in the glass yep. so we're just going to rate these blindly so i have a paper here we're going to we got one through seven and we're just going to rate them whoever has the yep. best rating wins it doesn't matter what brand it is i will say we have something local mm -hmm. we've got something from a famous liquor store in indiana yep. we've got the Wick widow jane decadence we've got boone county uh, we've got a Nulu here. So we actually have some Starlight. We got some we really have, weird We have shit. like one from the tri, one of each from the tri-state area. Basically. Yeah, we do, and we do, and beyond. So that's yeah. kind of cool. I didn't think about that. So this is a really cool variety. I think I go to limb saying it's probably the best variety of maple syrup whiskey slash bourbon yeah. you're probably going to see in any video. Yeah, I would say so, and it's going to be completely random. This isn't going to be a very informative video. This we know, is more no price fun. points. Yeah, no price points because yeah. we don't know them. You will get to see the bottles at the end as we yeah. go through stuff, yep. but let's just get right into it. All right, let's do this. All right, so we got number one here, and we're going to share glasses because this would be yeah. there'd be so much glassware. Way too much to do. Not a crazy nose. Okay. Not a crazy nose. I feel like the nose is going to... I don't think we're gonna see too diff too much of a differentiation differentiation between the noses on these. I'm gonna be honest with you. This one, I don't know if I know if it was maple syrup. Okay. It's a really good bourbon. It's good. It's All a right. really good bourbon, and it's got so, that indicative like maple syrup note you get with some bourbons. But I don't think I know. So yeah, the nose is quite ethanol. -y, uh, I'm gonna go with. I don't want to start off too hot with that one, and I'm really gonna hate it if I if it's the fucking Widow Jane. It's really nice. Ooh. It's really nice. It's got a little bit of that candy-esque to it. Yeah, it's but sweet. It's, it's good. But I guess if you're thinking maple syrup, though. Yeah, no, I'm not picking up too much maple syrup. It's just... It's got a nice sweet note. It's very well balanced. Delectable. I could definitely sip that. Oh, here comes some of the maple on the back. A yeah, bit. yeah, you gotta like, like kind of chill on that a little bit. But um, I don't want to start off super high either, but I really actually like this. I'm going to go 8-2. I was gonna think eight one, but eight two is good. Eight two, perfect. Ding. Next. You want me to start with the next one? Yeah, you start next All one. All right, I'll start the next one. Um, let's see. Oh, now this this. All right, so yeah. I was hoping they'd all smell kind of similar. Nope, this one. I think we're gonna get some crazy different. ones because the Starlight is finished first in sherry casks. Yes. Then they finish it in maple syrup casks. So we know what's in these glasses. We just don't know the order. Yeah. And I don't know if you, how, like, who's watched what. If you go back about two years, Mike and I did a 14-bottle vertical the exact same way with all the Buffalo Trace products. Wow. That's citrusy. And spearmint. That is a weird nose, dude. It's almost like orange. It smells like oranges. I'm getting a little bit of that spearmint like you would get from rye with some citrus on the back. I really like the nose Is there a maple rye in this? I don't think so. There might be a high rye mash, Bill, but I don't think so. That I'm getting, you'll see what I'm talking about at the end. The very end, you're going to get that refreshing, like, mint. Ooh. Right? Ooh, that's good. Like, I'm not getting maple, but I'm getting that. Mint it's a little, and... it's a little hotter than this, but it's, it's yeah, dude, it's like minty. spearmint. Yeah. It's like spearmint. Wow, I like that a lot better than the first one. A lot better than the first one. Um, I don't know what that could be. That's, dude, number two is awesome. Yeah, I'm going up to like an 8.8 eight on that one. I was going to say 8.9. So I'll go, well, I'll go eight, I'll go do eight, eight nine. Do eight nine because yeah. you know what? I'm not trying to go too high, but that truly that's a really fun. That's one. really good. Yeah. All right, you're up next. All right. Uh, so we got number three wow. here. So we have a Hamer uh, maple syrup finish, which the Hamer is from a store called the Rural Inn in Indianapolis, which is okay. Apparently, a world famous liquor store or or na national 
nationally famous liquor Mr. store because okay. I, I feel like overseas like liquor stores are less of a yeah thing i don't know here. how they sell shit like, we definitely are really proud of our booze here for we sure we really are <laughs> okay so again we kind of going back to this where it's a very like almost like dumbed down nose it's generic kind of yeah Ooh, you get a little me. bit of like brown sugar i would yeah. say more than maple i'm gonna do a palate cleanse while you're doing that It's my least favorite. I really don't like that one. Thus far. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I actually don't like that one, period. Like, I don't think it's good. The nose isn't... It's not jumping out at me. Yeah, I, really I just standard. it just doesn't taste good. Hmm. It's the decadence. <laughs> yeah, I would be so bummed, because it's rated so high. <laughs> it's just not good. It's like oaky. But it's not maple at all. And that's medicinal, a little medicinal, a little oaky. Yeah, I, I think it was. It was. I don't know. I, I I'm gonna go pretty low. I'm gonna go with a six point two. Um. Um. Yeah. yeah. I, I I just don't think that one was good. You know, the one thing I am afraid about with his decadence is it's so goddamn low. But that might help it, it too. Just mellow it out a little bit. It could have. So that could go either way. We're on. Yeah, you we're do, on this you do four. Yeah. Hopefully you guys like this format. It's it's a little more informal, and like Ooh. Mike said, it's less informative, but this is way more fun for Mike and I to do something like yeah. this. Just to break it up a little bit. I really hope your wife didn't put the Widow Jane in the Widow Jane glass. <laughs> no. Okay, she said no. No, she didn't. She didn't. This nose is coming off a bit sweeter. Kind of a kind of like in between these two noses. I'm waiting for that one that's like, wham! Like, I know, I am too. All right. Um. Ooh. Ooh. Peppery. So this is a good heavy nose. oak. Definitely, definitely a little ethanol. And you get some maple. I like this one. This is a solid one. The nose is nice, but simple. It is. It's this is a simple one with more a, spice on the nose, though. It is. That's what I'm saying. I'm getting more of that spice. It's finishing a little. It's definitely got a long finish, and it's finishing a little rough for me. But it's not terrible. Again. Ah, it's very acidic though. It, it is peppery, spicy for sure, but it actually is drier than the previous yeah. three. Even this, I like the flavor mm -hmm. here's better, but it's not that much better. No, uh, I don't, don't even really take another sip of it. I'm going six point nine. All right, I think it was seven five. So right, seven two. Let's do it. Quick maths. <laughs> Probably not accurate, but it was within like point oh four decimal points. Yeah. All right, you do five. I just did that one. You just did that one? Oh, so yeah, I do five. So you do five. All right, Widow Jane. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This one's Widow All Jane. Right. Now, this is buttery. The nose is actually almost mm. like buttery. Interesting. If, if this is the most simple nose out of the first, like, out of, you know, out of the, the five of them, it's probably the most if, simple. If you're saying buttery, I'm inclined to say this is going to be the, the Taconic just because they have the Super Trooper label. This is a, I think this is the most well rounded. Yeah. Yeah, I get the joke. And buttery pancakes. Yeah. And yeah. Like, but I don't know. I could be wrong. I've never had that bourbon, so. Interesting. Yeah, this is weird. Weird? This is weird. I don't know. I think it's more Go for it. Go for it. Let's see. It's not, it's not maple. It's more oak. Again, I'm not getting any strong sweet nose. Yeah, no, like, I think this one might. Oh, really? Uh, oh, yeah, oh. it's yeah, it's a, it's the most well, it's a rounded nose. I don't know if it's the best nose. No, but hmm. it's got it's. I don't know. I don't know. I, I wasn't. I almost want to say it's my least favorite, but I really, I really didn't like three. Oh. I really didn't like oh, three. No. We gonna I, go, don't, I don't like that one. Want to go five nine? Oh, wait, hold on, but the maple's coming through now. I, didn't, I don't know. I didn't think it saved it, though. Give it, like, a 6. 6 out of 10? Yeah. I don't know. There's something about... Th this one... There's two whiskeys here that are going to get so, fucking annihilated when we realize what they are. I know. This one is, like, not bad. I just feel like it's not balanced, even. I feel like it's all yeah, over the place. I feel like they use, like, a really, really young bourbon slash whiskey yeah. as the base, and then that six months or whatever amount of time they finished it in that maple syrup barrel just didn't... Mm -hmm. It didn't do enough to kind of mellow it out or balance out the acidity. No, like I could pick uh, out the different notes, but they're not blending. To, they're not blending. I feel like well. this one is like they're kind of coming in in waves, but not in the right 
order. I don't know. There's something off about it's it. It's almost like uh, eucalyptus. It's like yeah. er, it's like oddly herbal, and but not in a good way. And it's like dry and warm. I don't know. All right, so that's you. Me? Yeah. Oh, Ooh, excuse me. I haven't had one that was like maple syrup yet, though. I haven't had that no. one yet. I think this was probably the... Like, so far... Obviously, the second one right now is in the lead at 8.9. Yeah. That is the best one. But it's that even that wasn't maple syrup. It's just the coolest flavor. Okay, so this is giving me a very, very a light note. This is not a pronounced nose at all. It's the darkest out of the lot by is, a but like, shitload. Like I'm just getting dark fruits on the on the nose. Nothing crazy. I wonder if that's artificial or if that's from like maybe the, the barrel they use. You're, you're gonna you you'll know, like I really got to put my nose in this fucking thing to get anything. All right. Oh. So this this smells like peanuts. It like peanut oil. Yeah, but oh my god, maple, cinnamon, brown sugar. This is good. Oh, this, this is the one is we were waiting for. One. Yeah, this is my favorite one so far. Maple, brown sugar, and cinnamon is all I'm getting. Oh wow! Yeah, dude, that's it. That's like Rio, <laughs> kind of Rio esque. Yeah, we're we're getting close to that Rio flavor profile in this bag. Dude, that's sick. I like this one a lot. I'm going high on this one. I'm going. Come on, this is really all right. I'm not. This is this is a hundred percent genuine reaction because Mike and I have no idea what the fuck we're drinking right yeah, now. Yeah, that's. I like that one. I'm going like nine three on this one. I think a nine five. Nine. Let's go. Let's. I'll go right. up higher. Nine five. I can number bucks. six. I'm really liking that. All right. So far, it looks like <laughs> unless the last one has a hail mary, it looks like number six is probably gonna win whatever the hell that is. Uh, you're up. All right. Yeah. This is. I apparently I only own six Glen Cairns now. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I thought we had more. I gave a bunch to Bobby because mm. he didn't have any, so I gave Bobby like ten. Uh, I, yeah. I, so at one point I had forty-five Glen Cairn. Jesus glasses. fuck! How did we get to six? Oh, I gave a bunch away because I don't use them, dude. <laughs> That's I don't. True. I use the. Right, so outside of these videos and the reviews we do on TikTok, you use rocks. I use rocks glasses. Yeah, I don't use too. these or the the bar glasses. Yeah, like I, I legitimately use I use like glasses that. Our friend Tony got an estate sale for one dollar for a six pack. Yeah. Wow, I liked that one. This is the most pronounced nose. No, 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 not at all. It, it's see, I found this one weird. It did not have a pronounced this nose at all. This smells like the, the flavor. This, this smells like corn, but something wrong happened to it. <laughs> corn, but bad. That's not maple. It's not. That's maple. not maple. There's no way that unless this is like so intense, but that's not maple. But see, this didn't have a. It's good. Nose. It's very good, but it's not maple. I'm just getting ethanol nose. Nothing crazy. I was just getting spices. a weird musty nose. It was yeah. strange. We're. I. I feel so bad because like we're gonna tell. We're gonna reveal like what all these are, and we've said some weird shit. Get like wood chips, oak. No maple. No maple at all, right? I'm a little crazy. sweetness, but not maple sweetness. I don't know. I'm going to go like eh, another 7.5 maybe. Yeah, 7.5 out of 10 is fine. Like, like, I, I, I was like pretty indifferent. At, no. A 7? Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's like middle of the let's road. Let's go 7.1 out of 10 because I thought 4 was better. Yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. 4 was better, even though we were thought 4 was a little like fucky too. Yeah. But uh, okay, babe, we need you now. The master of disaster has arrived. <laughs> Alright, so as we said, my wife Sam actually has a master key saying what these are because Mike and I wanted this to be completely unbiased. Yes. Okay, so what was in number one? Widow Jane. Wow. Wow, really? I told you. I'm think I really what did you think say? I really think because it's so oxidized and aerated at this point. It definitely could be it, but it's, it's not that far it. down. It's 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 a cool, it's, you have like, you know, yeah, a half of it. I don't just know. shy of a half left, but that, why do I remember like Decadence being so much, you know, I sold him this bottle. I had a fresh crack. I don't know. Yeah. When did you sell him that? Last year, this year? Uh, this year. At some this point. Year? This, this I don't know. Early this year, but A2, it was yeah. the third best one. Okay. So next. But what did we rate it? 8.2 for Widow Jane. No, what did we rate it? Like, oh, not 8.2. Oh, it okay. was higher. That's what I thought. <laughs> Two is Francis James. Francis James. Holy shit! Are you hell, kidding me? Where the hell is that one? No, that was the one, the spearmint one, dude. Oh, is it? That's, That's awesome. I like that. 
That's from so this is from Oakland, New Jersey, right wow. by Cherry Hill. Okay. So way to go, Jersey. We got right. second place. Cool. I don't, I don't know if I'm just illiterate for the third one, but it was tac tac Taconics. 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 Okay. So that nice. was the worst one. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if I'm just illiterate, but <laughs> Taconic with the Super Trooper label. So that's an awesome sticker. It is an awesome label. So this is actually a Central Jersey uh, Bourbon Club pick. Oh, well, you guys didn't uh, pick well. Sorry, guys. <laughs> no uh, offense. Okay. What was four? Boone County. Boone County. That's... This was the one that we were like super indifferent on. This is my favorite label because it's the most yeah, fall looking label. That looks label. like a fall bottle. But again. But it was not that good. No. <laughs> Sorry. Now I'm, dude. I am so curious to what that fucking one was. Yeah. Which Our, one? The one that we both like went nuts over. Which one was that? The well, last. Hold three. on, we're getting there. Yeah, we're getting there. Okay, okay. Yeah. What's five? Five is Hugh Hamer. Okay. That was, Hugh Hamer. That was the one five. that you and me were utterly. Wow. I'll Sorry, Hugh. You. Sorry, Hugh Hamer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was the one that we were just utterly like. I think both of you, me and you, were just like, what? The All right. Fuck? So. It's coming down <laughs> to Starlight or New Lou. Both two that there's no shot we would have picked these no. for. There's no way. Six was Starlight. Oh, oh shit! Wow, wow, that's awesome. The Starlight. This looks really inappropriate on camera, but that's okay. <laughs> wow, the Starlight Carl Huber's Bourbon Whiskey finished. That, that all right? That now I know we haven't pulled the last one. Oh, this one's got a creative. Yeah, yeah, look, yeah, the there. backs, the backs on that oh, one's cool I didn't too. Notice. Let's, we gotta start sliding these back. Yeah, yeah. Down so, and then you know the last one. Uh, yeah, so the last one was the Nulu, which we were like, that one might have been the least maple syrup out of all of them, but it tasted good. Yeah. Uh, and it's another bourbon. Oh, it's, another, it's a bourbon street yeah, pick. Yeah, it's a bourbon street pick. So, you like that. Yeah, like, this Starlight is the winner yeah. at 9.5. If anybody, you know, is trying this to find. That came like, out in second. Yeah, that came out in second. So, Oakland, New Jersey, you know. And, and Jersey three. Pride here. I'm super happy. So yeah, I'm glad that with the decadence made it in top three. It deserves that. This is a hundred dollar bottle. Yeah. The I starlights, those are like not crazy expensive, but they're not cheap either. These are all honorable mentions. But yeah, Starlight <laughs> Distillery, man. Holy crap. So this is uh first aged in sherry casks. Yep. And then it's finished in the maple syrup barrels. Okay. So that's awesome. Perfect. So yeah, let's go grab some starlight. There we go. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's that's the right way to Beautiful. podium this thing. That was cool. That was awesome. I had a lot of fun with that. We gotta do this more too. I want this more. I want. Yeah, (laughs) I'm gonna have another pour of that when we're done. Yeah, I want more of that one. All right, everybody. So, uh, I really this is an episode you really need to make it through. Like, yeah, please watch every second of this episode. We had so much fun doing this. This was cool. And this is exactly why we did this. Exact. This is exactly why we did this the way we did. Yeah. Because I think if Mike and I had known what we were drinking, we would have been biased. We would have been biased. Like these two, no shot they'd be here. Most likely. Because your brain plays more of a role in what you think something tastes like than you think. But by doing this completely and utterly blindly, this one and it won handily. Yeah. There was nothing even close to being as maple syrup nope. or just as good as it. Yeah. Maple syrup, cinnamon, spices. Uh, what else did I say? I forget. You could spearmint. rewind it. No, that no, was... No, that was fra- no, Francis James' that spearmint. Was that one, yeah. This was very, like, if you're trying to find Penelope Rio. Yeah. This I, was... That the, was knocking on the door, Rio. Yeah, that's the closest thing we've had to Penelope Rio besides itself. Cool. So, all right, everybody. Thanks for watching the episode. Please do one of three things, or two or three, or three of three. Uh, please comment on the video if you have any input. If we missed a maple syrup whiskey you wanted to see here, don't say Crown Royal Maple. I'll lose it. <laughs> uh, number two, please subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate every person that watches our video but yep. a lot of you are not subscribed to the channel we need to bump those number numbers up they're rookie numbers <laughs> and please number three please like the video yes yeah, just immediately once you click on our video hit like it's really easy it, and it helps out the algorithm it gets this video translated much faster than if you don't yep so everyone drink responsibly have a great day have a great night and enjoy some maple syrup bourbon if you liked any of these that you saw cheers